President Trump is threatening to take the tax return fight to the Supreme Court just days after a top Democrat formally requested six years of his returns. The president is fighting back, pushing a, a false narrative that he cannot release his taxes because they're under audit. Truth is, you can. Meanwhile, President Trump is pulling a 180 on shutting down the southern border, first claiming he would close it this week, then giving Mexico a year warning, and then finally saying he doesn't think he will ever have to close it. Let's discuss uh, with uh, Madison Jessiato. She's a Trump 2020 advisory board member, political strategist, and attorney. Good morning to you. Welcome back. Thank you, Victor. Good morning. So let's start here with what the president said yesterday during this meeting in California. Let's watch. Whether it's asylum, whether it's uh, anything you want, it's illegal immigration, can't take you anymore. We can't take you. Our country is full. Our area is full. The sector is full. Can't take you anymore. I'm sorry. Can't happen. So turn around. That's the way it is. Turn around, that's the way it is. Should the U.S. stop admitting uh, potential asylees who believe they have a, a credible fear of, of, of injury or death? I don't think this is about us stopping the admittance of these type of people, but I think it's about us taking a hard, long look at our system and hopefully Congress doing that and fixing the problems that we have. Our system's absolutely overburdened. We heard so many Border Patrol agents and judges and people over the past months talking about this. And so when we have tens of thousands of cases in backlog in the courts, and just recently, you know, we're seeing migrants go up and up and up just in March, uh, 100,000 we had at the border. Our system is not made to handle these numbers of people, so we need to make sure that we build a more efficient system to be able to handle this and, of course, only admit the people that have valid merited asylum claims. Yeah, but I mean, he, he's, not saying, family unit, he's not saying de decrease the number. He's saying we can't take you anymore. I'm sorry it can't happen. Turn around. That's the way right, it but is. What I, you're the making reason a why he's saying point. that the is because is of not. the overburdened system. He's not saying we don't want people coming to our country. Of course we want to protect people with merited asylum claims. No, but of that's course literally we want good immigrants coming to that's this country. Uh, control room, but play you again. have to put it in the context, Victor, of, of what of what he's talking about. Play it again. He's not saying we don't want you because we don't want people coming to this country. Whether it's asylum, whether it's uh, anything you want, it's illegal immigration, can't take you anymore. We can't take you. Our country is full. Our area is full. The sector is full. Can't take you anymore. I'm sorry. Can't happen. So turn around. That's the way it is. You're making a nuanced point, right? The president is saying it doesn't matter what it is. Illegal immigration, asylum, sorry, can't take you. Go home. Right, and he's referring specifically to that overburdened system. We need to address this overburdening of our system in order to be able to take people. We can't have a system that, that just possibly can't take one more person because there's no space. So we need to make sure we address that so that we can take the people. So right now, no, we're overburdened, but this will be addressed. And like I said, this is something Congress also needs to be addressing. When you even look at what we're seeing with family units coming, this has increased drastically because of our laws that need fixed. So, 193 so fake families ha what's have been apprehended. And we need, plan, we need to protect children. We need to protect we need to protect people coming from all of these countries. What is the, the president's, president's plan? plan? Is to con continue, number one, to work on the border and to work with Congress to find a solution to this. We work have on the border on is sides. very vague. What is the plan Sorry, to, to deal with the, the numbers of people coming here to seek asylum? Sure. Number one, continue to address the issue we have in regards to border security, as he has been doing. He's been committed to this. He's committed to the safety and security of the American How people. How does border security two, compare with people coming to seek asylum if they come to the port of entry, right? The part, way in which the, right, right, the administration right, of, wants people to, problem, to, to request asylum, that is not a border security issue. Right, but what I'm explaining is part of the problem that we're facing with the overburdening of Border Patrol is the fact that our border is not secure. And so we have people coming across and that's burdening their resources, their time. These Border Patrol agents can't possibly do all of this. They just don't have the time or the resources. There's not enough of them. How so do, that's part of the problem here. Again, the, going back to what I was, the point I was making is for many, many years we had Republicans and Democrats yes. in the White House, in Congress, promising to address this, and nothing got done. And so I really hope this is the turning point where we see something change. Well, the president has made several promises this week in which he suggested he would close down not. the border, and then he said that he would go to tariffs in a year, potentially, and then close down the border. Let me ask you about the wall that the president calls a wall. It's really a fence. How does what the president uh, went to, I guess, receive his plaque yesterday 
qualify as what he promised during the campaign? Well, number one, he promised border security. He promised that the American people would be protected and that the crisis on the border he would be addressed. He promised a wall that Mexico would pay for. That was a fence that the U.S. taxpayers paid for that Barack Obama approved in 2009. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. Yes, Barack Obama did not approve this. He said that they wanted to get this done, but guess what? The funding came from President Trump's administration. So it finally was funded. It doesn't matter where it started. I'm just glad that it's finished. Is this, how does, again, is this a wall? How does this qualify as a wall? Especially yeah, the wall border, that, that, that President Trump is candidate Trump promised during the campaign. You know, as far as I'm concerned, and many people across this country are concerned, we're concerned about border security. Whether this is, you want to call it a fence, a wall, whatever you want to call it. You know, President Trump says, you want to call it peaches, call it peaches. But it's protecting the people of this country. We want to continue to approve miles and miles across the border that have been contracted. We're waiting for funding on that. And, I mean, when we see the drastic numbers, I think, that will result in terms of drug going down when it comes to them coming across the border, uh, people of this country being protected. It's, but it's the going majority to be of drugs it. that come into the, the country come through the ports of entry. So, All right, But that, does, that doesn't matter. But there's still a lot of drugs coming across at those points that we don't want to see. I mean, and again, I've said but this it, to you it, before on this program. It I'm does, from Ohio. All of people it matters. across the state have been most affected. They have been dying. I know people who have passed away as a result of this. And so when we have fentanyl coming in, in enough, you know, across and a lot of that unprotected comes through the parts mail. of the border, Right, right. And we need to address all of these things. It's not just a single issue. It's a, it's a multi-layered issue. And part of that layer is addressing the fact that we have an unsecured border where enough's coming across to knock out a significant portion of our population. And so we need to address that. I mean, to say that we don't just because other drugs come in other places is just silly. Madison Jessiato, thanks so much. We'll be back. Thanks.